Hello and thank you for joining us for this week's track guide for Daily Race C in association with Kirith Esports. I'm JB Racing and I'm going to take you through this lap of Mount Panorama or Bathurst as it's otherwise known. And it's starting at night which is quite nice so it's like our own little mini 12 hours at Bathurst which was on this weekend if anybody was watching that on the uh, GT racing series. It is a bit tricky being in the dark but one top tip that I would have for this is that you probably want to stay in the qualifying lobby until it gets lighter. You just do some warm up laps while it's dark, you know, get used to the track and then you are ultimately always going to be faster in my opinion in the daylight so once you've done about three four laps the daylight comes and it's a lot easier to qualify we are in the beetle you can also use the wrx if you want to as well but the beetle definitely seems to be the fastest car overall and in terms of race strategy there, there isn't any really it's a 10 lap race no fuel or tires to worry about uh, the tires more than last and you've got about 30 laps of fuel on board so no problems with that managed to get a low 201 here i am determined to get under a 201 by the end of the week but this is the best i've managed for now so let's go through break the lap down and see how we get on let's get into it here we go with the track guide then as you can see i have done quite a few laps trying to get under the 201 mark but this is the closest that we got in the session that i was doing we're slightly short shifting the car so just before the end of the rev range is when you're shifting up and we're braking first of all just after the 100 meter board so just as after you get about a car lengths past that on the brakes i use second gear just for a moment to turn the car in and then short shift to third and accelerate out using this curb as runoff just like to take a moment while we're going down the straight to thank everybody who's come over and subscribed recently as well i'm literally about three subscribers away from hitting 500 which is going to be absolutely fantastic when we do hit that so thank you very much for everyone who's come over next brake marker is just after the path here on the left hand side so you see that runoff path before the 50 board heavy on the brakes but then not much trail braking lift off the brake as soon as you can short shift to fourth gear and get on the power and you can use all of this runoff here on the left hand side with that little sausage curve there and this is a tricky section you don't want to lift as you come around the corner make sure that you stay over to the right hand side on the brakes just before the shadow that there is on the road there once the daylight hits and initially using the second to turn in but then short shift to third and you want to get on the power as early as you can coming up the hill there we are flat through this section and then using the tree as a marker to start turning in lift short shift to fifth gear and then back on the power and that will give you a good run out down here move out to the right hand side before turning into the middle of the road to aim for the armor all barrier and then just a small lift here to get the car to move onto the curb and then as soon as you touch the curb you get back on the power and last but not least coming out right to the right hand side here to use all of the track width lift just before you go over the crest of that hill get nice and tight to this wall on the left hand side and keep the power in as quickly as you can next just as we come under the audi barrier here we're getting on the brakes but you see i'm sort of lifting on and off of the brake so when the car's in a straight line i'm using more brake and when i'm needing to turn a little bit i'm lifting off and then it's a tiny dab of brake just before you turn in on the left here it's really going to help bring the car onto the right line and i short shift to fourth as you're coming down the hill up to fifth just for a second but then a dab of brake down to fourth and then heavy on the brakes once you're straight aiming down the hill use second gear, uh, gear to turn the car in and you get really close to this barrier, short shift to third and then get on the power. Uh, so definitely you want to use second to turn in there but third to power out to get the best exit. Next we're down the back straight and we're coming up to a really important braking zone here. I always used to use the brake boards but it's kind of in between those now so I was looking for something else and I would say that braking on the sign event logo so when you come into the event part of the word in between the 150 and the 100 is best. So just there as I hit event on the brakes hard down to third gear trail braking in but then short shift to fourth gear and get on the power really early if you accelerate in third here you can't get on the power as soon as you can in fourth so definitely recommend short shifting to fourth and for the last corner this is one of the most important things for it to be daylight so the large oak tree on your right hand side the brake in just as that tree goes out of sight down to second gear while turning the car in get as close to that curb on the left hand side as you can and then short shift to third to accelerate out so thanks very much for tuning in for that i hope that's helped and good luck with your qualifying please do drop a like and consider subscribing if you've enjoyed the content and i'll leave you with the lap now to play out at full speed thank you very much